hello soldiers welcome back to youtube channel in this video we are going to do lasso regression and ridge regression on our data set that is bike sharing demand prediction data set uh, this is part two of capstone project if you haven't watched part one please go and watch it there we applied linear regression so first we did eda then we applied linear regression in this particular video we are going to apply lasso and rigid regression so let's begin first we will understand what is lasso regression so what you need to do you just need to google it lasso regression so here you can see lasso regression is type of linear regression that uses string cage string cage is where data values are strung towards a central point like the mean lasso produces encourages simple spares model so models with fewer parameters okay the lasso regression allows you to string or regularize these coefficients to avoid overfitting so simply you can say that lasso regression is used used to avoid overfitting okay and make them work better on different data sets this type of regression is used when the data set shows high multicollinearity or when you want to automate variable elimination and future selection okay so this article you can see if you scroll down i got this article from analytics vidya so first they were explained about a uh, rich regression will we will go through first lasso okay lasso stands for least absolute string cage and selection operator i know it doesn't give much of an idea but here are two keywords absolute and selection let's see lasso regression performs l1 regularization that is it adds factor of sum of absolute value of coefficients in the optimization objective thus lasso regression optimizes the following so this is the thing here you can see objective equal to rss plus alpha into sum of absolute value of coefficients so here these are the constraints you can see so uh, this is a thing right okay we'll so we'll apply lasso regression on our data set on our data to understand more about lasso regression you can watch tutorials or you can go through articles okay yeah that's what i want to say and so it's a simple from scikit-learn import lasso here lasso here these are the parameters so here what we are doing we are initializing lasso with the parameter alpha equals to 1.0 and maximum iteration equals to oh this thing 3000 so then we are fitting the model lasso dot fit x train comma y train then we are just going to get the score on train data or on test data you can see both of them here you can see here we are predicting the values on test data on train data and test data train data test data then we are just going to import mean squared error then you can see we are going to calculate all these things here rmsc mae mean absolute error then from scikit-learn r square r square r2 score oh simply yeah from scikit-learn matrix we are importing r2 underscore score 
so yeah these things you can see on msc we got 91.59 on r square we got 0 0.40 on adjust r square we got this thing okay yeah looks like r square r2 score value is 0 0.4 that means our model is not able to capture that's right it should be equal close to one right but it's not at all close to 0 0.5 also that means our model is not at all performing good then here we are storing all those values as you can see so r2 score of the test set is 0 0.38 this means our linear model is not performing well on the data let us try visualize the residuals and see if there is a retro this thing okay let's see okay so this orange one is actual one then blue one is predicted one you can't see any blue lines more right that's a big issue here is a, a hetero scatter city so here you can see we are just plotting scatter plot I think you can see so this is a uh, yeah this is it then we are going to perform ridge regression just do this thing okay no issues okay let me search here so ridge regression is a method of estimating the coefficients of multiple regression models in scenarios where linearly independent variables are highly correlated it has been used in many fields including echo echo matrix chemistry and engineering first time i'm listening echo matrix what i was away so when should we use ridge regression ridge regression is a method used for analysis of multi collinearity in multi in multiple regression data it is more suitable when data set contains a higher number of predictor variables than the number of observations the second best scenario is when multicollinearity is experienced in a set so in this article only we have about ridge regression as name as mentioned before ridge regression performs l2 regularization in lasso regression we performed l1 regularization here l2 regularization that is it adds a factor of sum of squares of the coefficients in the optimization objective thus ridge regression optimizes the following so here also we are having the formula and these are the parameters okay and this is how we need to implement we'll see the implementation part okay yeah this is performing good let me explain you first we are going to import from scikit-learn linear model we are importing ridge then we are giving the uh, alpha value that is 0 0.1 then we are training the model then you can see we are getting the score of 
zero point seven seven on training data. Here you can see get the okay. Then we are performing the res dot predict. Okay, we are predicting on train data and test data. As you can see here, uh, we are doing all these things for every model. Uh, this thing is common. Okay, to find out these these things. For MSC, we got thirty five point zero seven. Our MSC. 5.92 mae we got 4.47 for r square we got 0 0.772 this is best that means our model is able to capture most of the data variance let's save it in the data frame for later comparisons for lasso we got this thing for like 0 0.4 like that but here we got well and good right through rigid regression so we are just saving these scores so later on we can use them for comparison purpose so here you can see so these things are more visible here than here in this chart you can see we don't I can't see more blue lines here you can see here are the predicted lines here you can see this one so here you can see this is not positively correlated or negatively correlated it's just in between okay but here it is negatively correlated like the scatter plot saying so in our in our upcoming videos we'll discuss about elastic net regression okay i think you just got a simple idea on rigid regression and uh, lasso regression i think so that's it for now meet you in next video till then bye bye